country where it is today. You've heard everybody talking about unsustainable debt. It means we borrowed. We over borrowed. We borrowed excessively. Parliament under Article 181 of the Constitution exercises that mandate for and on behalf of the people of Ghana. So it simply means the Parliament of Ghana has failed the people of Ghana. We didn't hold the executive to check to say that don't borrow any longer or borrow at this limit. We all know that when you exceed 70% of GDP, you are debt distressed. So Ghana is now a debt distressed high risk country or say a high risk debt distressed country as declared by the Minister for Finance, Ken Furiata, and the World Bank and the IMF. Now, what is more disturbing is the fact that Ghana's debt is unsustainable. Unsustainable means that we are at the risk of default. Ghana can at any moment, if we haven't already defaulted. Parliament this year was more stable and more peaceful and conducted its business in a manner that was decorous and in a manner that allowed for ventilation of ideas and for us to build consensus around many issues. I mean, there are those who have been very critical of uh, the minority, including me, saying that why did you pass the budget? Because you don't want the country to come to a standstill. Uh, a budget means a lot, not just for government or the new patriotic party, but for citizens. I generally agree that our parliament is not strong. I, I keep saying that a parliament is assessed on account of the strength of its committees. So any parliament is as strong as its committees are. Our committees are not that strong. And it's one of the reasons why our parliament is not very strong. I keep relating to the structure of our committees, including the leadership of committees. Elsewhere, in the established democracies, the parliament would vote on who becomes the leader of a particular committee. In our case, for instance, today, we happen to have some first timers appointed as vice chairman of committees, even when we don't know their strengths. That cannot be good for parliament. In the established parliaments, you never have a situation where a first timer becomes a vice chairman of a committee or um, um, a chairman of a committee. Why? Because in spite of his own experience, work experience, when he comes to parliament, it's a different ball game. You have to learn. And the person is here to learn, you appoint the person as a vice chairman. It cannot be good for the growth of parliament.